The key to clinical examination of ICU patients lies in integrating the information available from the medical technology, as a large amount of information is available at bedside, so in order to assimilate all this, it is important to have a structured approach towards examination of patients. First is system-based approach. A. Airway, tube type, tube size, position, at which fixed, assess cuff pressure, any ties of the tube, frequency of suction, in case of intubation. B. Breathing, lungs, ventilation, oxygen delivery systems. C. Circulation, heart, hemodynamics, vascular devices, cardiovascular drugs. D. Disability, central and peripheral neurological examination, pain, sedation. E. Exposure, examination of the peripheries. F. Fluids, status, balance, management. G. Gastrointestinal, abdominal examination, nutritional and renal examination. General approach. Ensure patient privacy by drawing up curtains for example. Before examination it is important to adhere to infection control policies hand washing either alcohol based or soap and water. Gown and gloves for isolated patients. Look at patient position in bed for any signs of pain, discomfort, distress. Observe the tubes that are attached as gastric feeding or drains. Look at the monitors, ventilator settings, infusion or syringe pumps. Documentation. It is important to note down the relevant history, positive findings in your examination, monitoring charts, investigations as laboratory and radiological examination, medication chart. Revise fast hug bid. F. Feeding. A. Analgesia. S. Sedation. T. Thromboprophylaxis. H. Head up to 30 degree. U. Ulcer prophylaxis. G. Glucose level control. B. Daily spontaneous breathing. I. Indwelling catheter. D. Desclation of antimicrobial. Thank you.